We're going to discuss making a transition from leading back to the standstill, back to leading. And this is one thing, especially for myself, was a little difficult when I was younger to learn. And we find that just going through this progression really helps us. So right now, Brinley's leading the calf and she's gonna make the transition and we're gonna get everything into one hand. So she's gonna transfer her show stick over. She's gonna get the lead into her left hand there. And then you see, if we can just pause here, Brindley, she's reaching to the inside and she's got her thumb down. What that does is when she steps back in front, she can just drop and go right to, sh to uh, scratching. If we don't, what happens a lot of times is kids wanna do this. And it's almost, I call it the baton twirl to get to there. And that's when a, a show stick can drop. And so what we like to do is make that seamless where you can just drop it right to here, okay? The other thing that happens is if you grab it with your thumb up, now you've got to get there somehow so you'll see kids do this a little bit and again that's where you can drop it so if brinley if you want to make that transition slow back to leading yep and she's back to leading now i'm going to have her make that transition back to the standstill and she comes in with the thumb down and she's right where she needs to be that's the most efficient way to get us from leading to the standstill